Agent of Divine, hear that. Hello, yo, man. You, you already know what it is. Giving out some valuable information to you amazing peoples. Let's get it. This stage is the most crucial in one's awakening as it's only done through a conscious choice. A step that a lot of people miss out on. And it comes from within. It's pretty much the key to having mental balance. I suggest you watch all the way through if you want to truly improve your quality of life and awakening process. Also, remember that life is like 90% mental and 10% physical. How are you going to get strong if you're not mentally well? You simply won't. Essentially, the mental creates our physical. Even if you are trying to expand your mental, the best way to do that is through forms of exercise, going beyond your limits or the limits that you have simply imagined. Those limits are not reality, they are a thought in your mind. With the detachment of the ego and the detachment of controlling external things brings forth the beginning of your real life, your true self. In this stage, you will learn that your focus should always be looking within, where you begin to notice and connect with your higher self. Don't get it twisted as your higher self is always with you. You are your higher self and your higher self is you. It's not something that's going to pop out and go, hey, I'm your higher self. Would you like to ask me? No, <laughs> the higher self is you. Philosophers such as Alan Watts literally stated that awakening is about letting go and letting go is going with the flow. Resistance is causing unnecessary suffering and pain. Third stage of an awakening, you will typically begin to ask deep questions of this new reality, such as questions like, is there a meaning to all that is happening to me? Or why am I going through this? And trust me when I say this, there is such an enormous meaning behind your awakening. And that is for you to discover who you really are, to discover your real purpose. Acceptance is accepting what is, especially the stuff that you cannot change. Majority of Pain and suffering comes from sources of things that cannot be changed. Therefore, this is unnecessary suffering that you can learn to avoid by surrendering to reality and accepting what is. So what is surrendering to the universe and how does one do it? Basically, you are trying to let go of the outcomes and let the universe take control for you. As I spoke of before, there is no point to try to change the unchangeable. The universe somehow knows everything that is meant for you, which it will give you through lessons. And until you understand and complete those lessons, it keeps repeating. When you accept this fact is when you begin to let go of the outcomes and let the power sit in the hands of the universe. But don't forget that the universe is contained within us and what we experience is only a reflection. We are literally made of stardust. We are essentially the way for the universe to know itself. So remember that you have been brought here in this physical vessel to perceive this reality and which we perceive through our five senses. This physical body is embodied by an ego. Understand this though, we are more than our physical bodies. We are more than our ego structure. We are much deeper than that. Everything in your so-called reality is manifested through consciousness. Everything your consciousness experiences is generated in your head through electrical signals in your brain. There has never been a moment in your life where you experienced something that wasn't generated by you. There has never ever been a moment where you experienced something that is different from the present that is not right now. There has never been a moment where you've experienced thoughts other than your own. God is the result of everything. God has never been seen in existence, yet is responsible for all existence, but also so is consciousness. It manifests 
all existence of our reality but is never being located nor understood. All of our physical reality is created through consciousness. Our senses, our emotions, physical time and space. Also note that time is only an agreed upon construct of man. It is just accepted by society. That does not mean in any way it is connected with reality. It is a concept. Anyway, when one understands that all reality is the source of one substance, they realize the inner being within them. You are the pure consciousness. You are that which perceives all reality. But don't let that take you away from the fact that balancing the mind, body, and soul is a necessity. With the knowing that you came here to just be, simply to observe and evolve, you can then realize the truth behind letting go. That all attachment is unnecessary and pointless as it takes you out and separates you from reality. Attaching is dual to resisting and you want to be in the middle, which is flow, as duality is an illusion. And all duality is an illusion to separate things. We've already covered how the white and dark of yin yang cannot exist without each other in the stage two video. Therefore, that means they are united. They are one. Take a second to think about that. Duality is simply a construct in our mind. You may only come to this realization when you understand you are one with this so-called duality. Your good and bad sides, your dark and evil, your angels and your demons, they can't exist without one another. Therefore, they are one or united. What separates them is your very mind or just the illusion of separation. Now, actually, surrendering and or letting go is easier said than done. It is one of the hardest things to do, yet being so simple. Letting go is the most important tool that we can all tap into, but actually tapping into it is a long process that I've been on for months now. This process has allowed me to detach from unnecessary suffering, pointless things that don't serve me and has allowed me to connect with my will and my true self. As I stated, it's a long process, a process that I have just started since I have only been awakened for under a year. Now, I will give you the explanation and process for letting go. But this is such a complex subject, I can only cover the surface in this video. Well, firstly, you have to understand what you are trying to let go of. You must simply trust yourself, trust your life experiences, trust that they are meant to happen. So basically, trusting such having faith in the divine or the divine plan. Overall, you are letting go of the outcomes in your life and the unchangeable slash external things. Things such as outcomes, emotions, relationships, and man-made ideologies. But note that you should not be resisting these things either. Better put, you want to avoid suppressing and instead process these things such as outcomes, emotions, and relationships. But Instead, you just want to flow through life while processing these things by viewing yourself as the cause rather than the effect. Then there is also the attachment where you, for example, attach to the outcomes of events or occurrences in your life. Attaching is identical to the focus of your conscious. Attaching to things in the past and future when only the now exists. That is an egotistical thing. You may only imagine the past in the now and may only think of the future in the now also. Therefore, your focus should constantly be on the changeable, which is in the present, which basically the only thing you actually have control over, what you can actually change is your choices, your own conscious. This is why you let go of everything that is unchangeable or external through the use of your conscious. Accept everything that is and surrender to the divine and overall completely let go of your unnecessary desire to control slash change the unchangeable. Process of this stage is always best learned through yourself as experience is the best teacher. This is the most crucial step of this video because 
there's no point of this information if you do not actually take the action. Because remember that I stated that this stage is done through a conscious choice. And your conscious is basically the only thing you have control over in this lifetime. Most key perspective to taking on this process is viewing yourself as already whole or complete and understanding that you are the only person you need in this world. This allows us to generate this state from within as you trust in the moment that is right now. You begin to use all your energy to improve and change your internal world and also conserve the energy that you very well could be using on changing the changeable, which is doing inner work, improving yourself mentally and physically. Also, through learning every single day as you can never stop learning. By living your life to the fullest every day, trying to better understand and become more aware of your true higher self. Because this is what true life is about, to evolve your own being. Life is literally like a video game. And the people who are successful in this video game are successful every single day through conscious choices. And they are the ones who get what they truly want out of life. They actually play the game that we call life. You, the main character of your video game, have control over your perspective, your choices, and your conscience. Never forget that. Asian of Divine, signing out from the heart. Peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.